it's truly fantastic because we decided to uh, uh, depart two more mornings from Nanjing uh, to, with the goal, of course, to reach uh, Hawaii. So we've been waiting now three weeks or more than three weeks. And I tell you, the tension was uh, increasing every day, the level of impatience as well. So extremely happy. But it's going to be a long flight. Uh, it's going to be a flight which will take six days, six nights to reach Hawaii. The weather conditions are not perfect, but we believe that we have uh, a good window and we want to seize it. So what, just in a couple of hours time, you'll take off? Good morning, uh, very early in Nanjing, yes. It will be late evening in, uh, in uh, Europe. So uh, I would say in, the, in about 15 hours, so everything is under preparation. I'm in the cockpit also to do the final checks. The final preparation, this is going to be my home for uh, six days, uh, six nights. So I, I treat it like my home, my future home. Just tell me about what you're facing, how you've been preparing. I understand um, I'm a yoga fan, so I quite like this. I understand yoga has played quite a bit in your uh, preparation. Yes, that's right. In the preparation, but also in fact in this uh, cockpit. I will have to keep the body functioning uh, well, so uh, yoga exercises and posture will help me. But I, I guess more important is the, is the mindset. To keep really the right mental attitude is going to be certainly uh, critical, and yoga is very helpful for that. Breathing techniques, you know, try to re-energize or to calm down depending on the situation. Uh, so that's what I train and that's certainly what I will use in this tiny environment. I know you're a very uh, experienced pilot, but there are risks. You are flying over the Pacific in this plane for the next uh, five or six days. Do you have any concerns? Uh, yes, I do, of course. And we have a lot of mitigation, in fact, to try to uh, lower this risk. First, on the technical side, I think we have a great airplane. We have quite a lot of redundancy, is well tested. But nevertheless, six days, six nights was never done. So, uh, so from this point of view, it's, uh, it's an exploration. Uh, it's also a question mark for the human being. I will climb every day to the altitude of the Everest, unpressurized, climb and, get, and uh, fly down at low altitude over the ocean uh, as well every night. So that's, uh, that's, um, that's certainly a big, a big challenge. But in the worst case, uh, and really for the worst, worst situation, I have a parachute. Uh, I trained for this uh, with uh, my colleague uh, Bertrand Picard and we trained on how to survive over the ocean if we really have to use these parachutes. So that's a way, in fact, to put this anxiety a little bit on the side. 